Thomas Medena? Sure. All right, mate, how's the YouTube channel? It's going all right, I think. I'm uh, getting a lot of like joy out of it, actually. Really? Joy? Yeah, some. I think it's always a bit scary putting out new videos. What though. have you been working on? Well, I've spent a lot of time on some short films, actually, and they really take a lot of... Beep, 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 beep. But no one cares. When are you making another tech video? Yeah, I'm, I'm making a Chromebook one at the moment. Good. Great. That's fire. Yeah. You seem unhappy. I'm not unhappy. Well, what's the matter? You don't like Chromebooks. I do, and I, I, I like making videos about them. It's just a, I like a lot of things, you know? You trust me? Yeah. Get over yourself. Okay. You do in reaction videos? Yeah, actually. Yeah. On some kind of popular TV show, something that's fresh, hot, spicy, HBO. Um, I'm just watching one here and I can't help but notice you haven't reminded people to subscribe. Well, they only should if they want to. I want you to think of a famous YouTube personality. Okay. Someone crash hot. Close your eyes, I want you to picture them. Okay. You picturing them? Yeah. Where are they in your picture? Uh. Just at their house, I guess? No, 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 put them at the beach. Why? I like the beach. Okay. So you've got this big YouTube person, yeah? You're picturing them, you can see them in your mind's eye. Yep. This is someone you could become one day. You could be them. Sure. And you're picturing them on the beach. Yeah. Okay, now picture them dead. What? They've been murdered, there's blood everywhere. Hey, sorry, um, what's this? Mate, no one lives forever. Okay. You can be any YouTuber out there that you want, you just have to outlive them. I can help speed up that process. I'll think about it. Welcome back to my monthly Chromebook News Roundup, where I round up the Chromebook news that interests me and leave all the other stuff well and truly out. You've suffered through a sketch video, so let's keep it snappy. I don't know if we, oh, we actually don't have time to mention our sponsor today. Drat, no sponsor then. Lenovo launched not one, not two, actually it is two, two great Chromebooks this month. The Tablety Duet and the Laptopy Flex 5. Let's see what people are saying. First, let's look at the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet Chromebook. Which is thin and light and it's basically a tablet. With a nice display. It looks great, nice color on it. Uh, the other thing, you know, there's only four gigabytes of RAM. But performance only occasionally got laggy for a few seconds. Oh, it's got a decent enough processor in it to get some stuff done. Uh, I don't really go over the specs. Mm, but in general, it's like, what's it like? It's pretty nice feeling. I, I gotta say, it feels nice. And yeah, it's really light in the hand. Plus, there's a keyboard dock and a kickstand included in the box snaps right on. And that hinge feels great. You can, in fact, use this on your lap. And I got a beard trim, and I got a haircut. Okay, and about the Chromebook, what does it not have? No audio jack. Living that dongle life now. Oh, tell me about the trackpad. Uh, what's up? Is it a little cheap feeling, a little clicky? And I'll just simply say the battery life is very good. Great battery life. They're not like some of the best speakers out there. Not a lot of bass. Sounds tinny. And hey, this device will be supported through 2028. Right, so basically, I do like it. The Lenovo Duet sounds really, really good. Great value for the price. Does everything it needs to do. No major flaws. There are simply no better options for a Chromebook tablet unless you want to spend quite a lot more for a Pixel Slate. There aren't many reviews yet for the Flex 5, but it has a 1080p display, which is nice. And the whole thing just feels solid. I mean, it's fairly thin. And basically, for everything you're getting here for $409, it is a, a solid device that we have here. This one looks like a good Chromebook in the traditional sense. Great value for money, does what it needs to, and not much more than that. I'm a fan. These two Lenovo's are priced very similarly, so I suppose the major dividing factor is just the form factor. Use it more as a tablet, go the Duet, more as a laptop, then probably the Flex 5 is gonna suit ya. Obviously I myself have not used either of them, so major grains of salt unto thee. But wait! There's more. I mentioned the rumored Asus Spin 13 refresh last month, but now it's official. We're looking at an updated CPU, better Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, faster RAM, same great three to two aspect ratio, looks fantastic. And a nice surprise competitor to the Samsung Galaxy and the Asus C436, and it should 
undercut both of them on price. No firm release date yet, but should be soon. HP has announced a few enterprise Chromebooks to be released over the next few months. These models will likely start at around $400 and go all the way up to maybe $2,000. But it looks like at every level you're getting a reliable machine that's ready to get things done. And I'll mention one more, Acer is putting out an updated version of the C314. No frills, solid build, should come in at a very nice low price, maybe under $400. Between this and the Flex 5, I don't know. Honestly, if I were currently in the market for a Chromebook, I think I'd be a bit overwhelmed by the options on the table this year. There are a lot of good new devices out there, no matter your budget. Let's talk operating system. Chrome OS 83 hit the stable channel this month. It includes lots of little bits and pieces, but nothing major I feel I needed deep dive on. Many of the new features like tab groups and the redesigned terminal are behind flags, so you can either dig around for them or just wait until the next Chrome OS release. Let's talk about Poiz. PWAs are a great and big focus for Google's development, but it can be hard to find them or know exactly when and where you can install them. I mean, sometimes you'll be on a site and this pops up, but there's no, say, Google Play Store for PWAs yet, though. As mentioned last month, the Google Play Store itself might eventually become the Google Play Store of PWAs. Why am I saying all this? Well, because in the meantime, you might like to check out this little PWA store someone has put together. It's an easy way to discover some web apps you might not know about. And of course, this PWA store itself is a PWA. Very good. Crossing to the other side of the internet, Reddit user Skylar Taylor has created a great straightforward website where you can check the Chrome OS version of any device across every update channel. Just whack in your device and voila! And yep, it's also a PWA. Staying with Reddit, someone by the name of Kjuke has started doing the angelic job of posting details about Chrome OS updates. It's always been a real challenge to track Chrome OS updates and changes as Google doesn't provide user-friendly patch notes, but these breakdowns are absolutely wonderful. And Kjuke says they're doing this just for fun. Absolutely worth checking out. What fair dinkum legends. Let's a look at your comments. The highlight of the month. Bruce Murray says, Hi! Hi! 21 Minutes says, This guy has a friendly and humorous personality. Ha ha. Why the laughing at the end really undermines the message. Ben Träger says, Hi from Germany. So German. So I'm just so. Is that okay to do? Hi, Ben. David G says, Our boy Chromebook Only is back! Typecast. MJ says, I'm going to buy my first Chromebook today amidst this pandemic because of schoolwork and keeping in touch with loved ones. God bless. Love is the most important thing. Rezzy Smash says, I remember how much of a joke Chromebooks were like four years ago. They're still a joke, get over yourself. Madhav Manocha says, hi. Hi. Kerry Hickman says, Looking forward to hearing this in an Aussie pronounced or Aussie accent. Well, have a good one, mate. Hope that was all right. Australian accent's hard, Kerry. Daniel Vasquez says, Good stuff, young man. Keep it up. Thanks, Dad. You guys are rippers. Hope your spirits are strong. Let's roll this train on into June. See you later.